Hi, I am Noob Graffer. You call me Newbie. Ya Newbie. Ha ha I am Noob at everything ya almost everything. Um. Enough now intro. So we are gonna talk about him. Wait, I forgot the script lol. Let's start the video. So today we are gonna talk about toilets. And yeah I just changed my hairstyles doesn't I looking better. Please tell yes. So we are gonna talk about how waste management can evolve from ancient Mesopotamia to present day. On sunny days, peoples of ancient Rome could be found exchanging news and gossip while attending public latrines. Yeah, yeah I know, you hear it correct. Can you imagine? If there is no management for toilets, there may be poop hills, here and there. By 315 AD, Rome had 144 public toilets. The Romans treated going to the toilet as a social event. They met friends, exchanged views, caught up on the news and wiped themselves with a piece of sponge fixed to a short wooden handle. It is a widely held belief that Thomas Crapper designed the first flush toilet in the 1860s. It was actually 300 years earlier, during the 16th century, that Europe discovered modern sanitation. The credit for inventing the flush toilet goes to Bathroom technology really arrived in the 20th century with flushable valves, water tanks resting on the bowl itself and toilet paper rolls, first marketed only in 1902. In 1992, the U.S. Energy Policy Act was passed requiring flush toilets to use only 1.6 gallons of water. As a result, companies all over the world moved to develop better, low flush toilets to prevent clogging. So that's it for today guys. Bye bye.